I said no he Hi, welcome once again to Brick and Mortar. I'm one of your hosts, Matt Bresick. He always says one of your hosts. To make sure. I'm Eric Eversole. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. You're, you're very, no you're a very good co-host. Yeah. Happy to have I'm you. Trying to be a good co-host. Yes, indeed. So um, we call this uh, education from the inside out, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to do some real inside out for you today. We're going to have a slightly different episode. I'd call it special. It's so special. Very special. So special. Very special episode. Well, we're going to get a bunch of teachers to answer a question. And what's yeah. the question? Matt? The question is going to be: What are one or two things parents can do at back to school night to ensure as much success as possible? From a teacher's perspective, mm -hmm. what do we think would make it work for you the best? So here we go. I get to go first yep. because, well, I'm the oldest. There you go. There so, <laughs> you go. All right. So here's what I would say. After years of being at back to school night, I would say this. Relax. Take a deep breath. Take down a few notes. Write down a few websites. Write down a few schedules and things like that. But relax and watch the teacher. Enjoy them. They're probably going to put on a pretty good show for you. And when they do, you will get a sense of their personality. And this is really, really important for you to know what their personality is like, what kind of person they are and how they present, so that when your kids come home with information about what's going on, you'll have a better perspective about who it came from and how it came out. And so just try to enjoy the show. Take a deep breath. You'll have lots of time for conferences later. Right now, just sit back and get to know your teachers. Yep, and let's hear what other teachers have to say. To ensure a successful back to school night, I talk to my children about this too. And the first thing would be to show up, make a plan to attend. Um, if you have multiple pull people in the household, if both people can attend, that's kind of a nice thing. So um, that's the first thing is to attend. And I think the second thing would be to listen, um, go in and hear what the teacher's expectations are for the year. And then maybe a third thing, even though it said one to two, the third thing would be to go home afterwards and have a conversation with your child about the back to school night and to share some of the things you learned, things you saw in the classroom, things you're excited for, for your child for this year, and to make it a positive experience all around. So that's actually three things instead of two. So back to school night is an excellent opportunity for parents to get to know the licensed professional that's going to be working with their students throughout the year, as well as some of the content that's going to be covered uh, throughout the year as well. So one of the things they could do is show up with an attitude of how they can help facilitate uh, some of the expectations of learning that uh, will hopefully take place throughout the year. My back to school night advice is from a secondary high school perspective. Uh, the one thing that I think is very valuable is to pay attention to a teacher's grading policies, um, particularly the way in which they weight the categories, assessments versus classwork, and their late policies, and then support your child through whatever they might need in terms of their work habits to be successful with the varying grading policies that they will encounter in the secondary classroom. The other thing that I think is a good use of time is to make sure that you don't skip the PTSA and boosters presentations. They need you and the reward that you get in terms of your participation is a closer, more in the know connection with the community. We've all heard the saying, it takes a village to educate a child and it's true. But that statement hits differently when you're a special educator because the reality is you need your village to ensure that your students get the services and supports they need. And key members of that village are the parents tasked with raising our students and the educators that teach them. You know, back to school night, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to build rapport and a trusted relationship with your child's educators. And personally, I loved using back to school night to talk about all the exciting things that we'd be doing that year. And you know, I spent 11 years in the classroom and for what it's worth, I can remember every single parent that came up to me at the end of the night to ask, how can I help? Bring all your students' back, uh, materials to back to school night and label them so that they don't have to carry them on the first day. Great back to school night. Parents need to know that they need to be involved with their child's academic performance as well as their child's extracurricular activities. 
parents, I urge you to be in touch with your child's teacher and to keep your eyes open for homework assignments, test dates, and projects due on the academic platform used by teachers. And they will tell you what that is. If you have concerns about your child's performance, I urge you to get in touch with that teacher early on. And I also encourage you to have your child get help if they need some academic assistance. Finally, if you have concerns within the first month of school about your child's overall performance, please contact your child's counselor who can set up a parent-teacher conference. I wish you all parents and students a very successful school year. Uh, make sure that you're engaged, make sure you know your kid's schedule and their teachers, and bring any list of questions that you want answered. That way you have all the information going forward. Two basic ways in which you can make back to school night worth your time. Number one, make sure you engage with the teacher. Have a conversation. Ask general questions about their content, about themselves. And most importantly, pick up on their personality and make sure that you become allies for your child's success. Also, you can get a feel for the course, see what's upcoming, what you should expect from that class, and see what the teacher values. Um, find out the best method of communication with that teacher. Don't share details of your child that night. Catch up with them later when they get to actually know them. And lastly, if you have the opportunity, bring your child with you. It shows you value education and your child. It helps teachers to connect you to your child, basically put a face to a name, and most importantly, engage with your child on that journey. Let them give you the tour. Get their impressions of the school and the teachers as well. If you do those two things, Back to School Night will be much more successful. I say to parents, as you're headed back, if you're excited about getting back to school, your students will also be excited and build a partnership with their teachers. It's going to be a great year, and the more that the both of you can work together to make it fun for your students, they'll have a great time. So if you're, you're in one of those uh, communities that's found it difficult to fill teacher vacancies, um, and you are at back school night, you have this uh, this licensed professional or perhaps someone who is in the process of becoming a licensed professional uh, working with your with your kid then remember this too that uh, back school night is also an opportunity to show them what kind of community that they're they're serving and and that can go a long way in determining whether or not they they come back to the school system the next year or you know additionally you know where they want to land once they're certified so so that's an opportunity not just for the community to get to know perhaps a teacher but it's also an opportunity especially for new teachers to see what type of community that they serve the first thing parents can do is be interested in what their kids are learning and that's across every class and with every teacher um, fostering a love of learning it's a lifelong skill it's a lifelong you know um, aspect of continuing to grow and that is so important especially at the high school level when kids can really just be interested in just specific things so let's widen that you know and I think that um, parents have so much you know impact if that's the way they approach it and the second thing is you know if you come across something that doesn't sound quite right be curious not judgmental and that's Ted Lasso <laughs> My best piece of advice for parents on back to school night is to remember that back to school night is just the beginning of your relationship with your child's teacher, not the end. So it's great if you find time to introduce yourself to your kid's teacher. It's great if you find time for a conversation, but 
you know, just so you know, teachers on back to school night, they're rushed. They've got only a few minutes to talk to each class. So they're not going to have a ton of a time to invest with you. So don't let back to school night be the last communication you have with your kid's teacher. If you want to get to know more about what your kids are doing in class, if you want to let the teacher know more information about your kid and, and how they, you know, perform academically or if they have uh, particular needs, that's best done through email or phone call or a follow-up meeting and not on back to school night itself. So my piece of advice is don't let back to school night be the end of the conversation. Let it be the beginning. So there you have it. You've heard a lot of opinions from a lot of people who spend a lot of time in school. Now, listening to them, I think you might be struck by, I know Matt, I was struck by the fact that there was a lot of different advice there. A lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom, but not all of it exactly in line with each other. Um, Teachers had different opinions. By the way, that points out something about education that you must keep in mind is that each teacher is an individual and each teacher approaches things individually. And that's probably a good thing to keep in mind on back to school night as well. Um, But what I would say is don't try to follow all that advice. As anytime you ask people for advice on something, listen to everyone Mm -hmm. and pick out the piece that resonates with you or the pieces that resonate with you. But come into it with with, with a good attitude, like you're going to try to use some of this information to draw something out of the evening for yourself. Mm And I would like to conclude with my own advice. If wait, you, before Matt if goes, he, wait, a little before, cynical. He goes, before he goes, Matt is going to be the ultimate, not the penultimate no, no, person. No, 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 no. And this is I, the last I started off the episode, and we're gonna let, we're gonna give him the last word here. So uh, if you don't know Matt, I do, and you can expect something fun here. Yeah, here little, little 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 bit cynical, but if you see that teacher in the parking lot, for the love that is all is holy, let them go home. They have their own family. They have their own house that they're missing. They have spent extra time there, um, you know, showing you how much they care and love being a teacher and being an educator and being there for your kid. But please, you see them in the parking lot. You see them leaving. Just let them go. Send them an email. They're going to be there at yeah. 7 or 8 o'clock the next exactly. morning. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, ab- absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Pink Floyd had a song like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Parents Sleep leave those teachers, teachers alone. alone. So there you go. <laughs> Special thanks to Colleen Broadbeck, Andre Bodwin, Lyd Rashid, Lisa Bel Castro, Colleen Morris, Linda Pacman, Ben Schmidt, Taylor Dungy, Cheryl Boast, Masami Stratton, and Eric Ludke. Thank you so much, and see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.